What is going on guys? This is Spade and I wanted to share some info with you guys that happened to me the other night. The reason why you haven't been seeing too much Call of Duty gameplay from me or anything like that is because I have been taking the time to take a little break from Call of Duty because I'm a little worn out. I've been playing the Crew Wild Run on PC and that is fun as fuck. I'm, if none of you have ever tried it, I highly suggest it. It's like 15 bucks on G2A and it's a great game. It is a much better game than it was when it first came out due to the fact that with the Wild Run update, they actually improved the graphical fidelity of the game. They changed the HUD to be a little bit more transparent. That way you didn't have stuff that was just cluster fucking the hell out of the HUD. And overall, I enjoy it. It's a really solid game. Uh, now onto the bad news of stuff. Recently, uh, actually two nights ago, I was I was asleep and at 1 a.m. I got a notification on my phone saying that my Steam account password had been successfully reset. I did not do this. I did not request a password change on my Steam or any such thing. And I also noticed that in my email there was a prior email a few minutes earlier that had been opened and it wasn't opened by me so someone had access to my email and my steam account now <clears throat> naturally i woke up to handle this and about three hours later i was able to successfully get my steam account back i enabled two-step authentication authentication jesus i enabled two-step authentication on my youtube my, all my emails and my steam basically anything that i used to sign into regarding my gaming persona or anything like that even my personal stuff so now if someone tries to hack me they're gonna have to hack my phone to get into my stuff they can't just hack my email or my steam but i was able to successfully get everything back nothing else was compromised and i was glad that i'm able to get it taken care of because I had a lot of games on my Steam. Not not more than some people out there. There's some people that got like fucking 300 games. Sorry, on their Steam. I have maybe like 40 or something like that. Nothing else was tampered with, but I wondered if this was in fact in part to something that has been going on recently. Uh, because my League of Legends account, someone has been trying to take my League of Legends account for... I think the past month now I've been getting emails from Riot Games about a few times a week maybe like two every two or three days where someone is trying to take my account and requesting the password change and stuff but so so far they haven't been able to get it but I don't know why they would want my League of Legends account unless they're trying to play it under my name under my persona I'm super low level I don't even play ranked the only time I've ever played it was against bots with friends trying to figure the game out to see if it was something I would be interested in playing. And at the end of the day, it wasn't. I don't like that game. So I just wanted to share this information with you guys to, uh, to let you know that hack hackers suck. You know, they really do. And I've been, I uploaded two two things that weren't Call of Duty. I uploaded the, the Destiny video and I uploaded uh, the crew, uh, one of the crew races. And those videos haven't got any views. And that lets me know that my viewers really just care about the game that I'm playing, not so much who the person that's playing it. And that's kind of a downer for me because I'm a big advocate of you're following the person, you're not following the game. And and that's, that's where I stand. And when I follow a person on YouTube or subscribe to them on YouTube, Twitch, or anything like that, I'm there for that person. I'm not there because of the gameplay that they are providing. You know, I, the gameplay is a nice incentive, but at the end of the day, I'm there for them. Even if it's not a game that I enjoy, I'll at least go on there, leave the video a like. That way, they get the they get one view and they get the like for it. That to at least show the support for them. And that's just me. I have a totally different mindset than other people. But YouTube is still very much overran by Call of Duty, and that's kind of downer because I play many other games besides Call of Duty, and I've said this numerous times on my on my YouTube channels. Another thing, I'm going back to work starting February 5th, maybe a little bit sooner, uh, because me and my wife were having to move our leases up where we're at, which that also means bye-bye to my 85 and 85 connection, which sucks because I really like having 85 down and 85 up. 85 upload is amazing. It makes YouTube uploads crazy. If I have something I want to share with you guys really quick within an hour of doing it, I can do so without any issues. And where we're moving to... The internet's not as bad. I can get 300 down, but only 20 up. 
So I'm trying to handle that as politely as possible because I, I'm i not really happy with where we're moving. I'm not, I don't like the town at all. I think the town is a fucking cesspool, but it's a three bedroom, two bath house. I have a big ass driveway to work on my cars and hopefully no one fucks with them because it's kind of in the ghetto and I drive a really nice BMW. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna be taking some steps to secure my cars because I also have a 2008 Charger and a 2013 uh, Audi, Audi Q5 hybrid that I have to protect as well. And so I'm going to be concerned with doing that. And I'm going to be going, when I go back to work, it's going to be a guaranteed 50 hours a week. So I am going to try to dedicate some time to get uploads for you guys. I know whenever I'm working, I tend to not do Twitch or YouTube because I try to prioritize my family interactions over Twitch and YouTube, which that is a must as a married man with kids. You need to prioritize your family, but I'm going to try to figure out how to fit you guys in there as much as possible. And recently I've been trying to stream from 5 a.m. to 8 or 9 a.m. every morning just so I can build up that, uh, that scheduling system. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to let you guys in on a little update info. But hopefully those of you that came over from Thunder, you're here for me, not just the game I play. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.